Happy Halloween! This is Lex from What the Craft, and today we're going to make a mini witch hat. These are the materials we'll be using today. You'll need to go download my circle skirt template, and there's a link for that in the description. You'll also need two pieces of scrap paper. For the hat itself, I'm using craft foam, and this is a special glittery craft foam. You can use regular craft foam, felt, or even heavy paper, though paper won't be very durable. Lastly, you'll need a good pair of scissors and a high temp glue gun, and the high temp part is important. Once you've downloaded and printed out the circle skirt template, it's time to cut it out. I've updated the template to include some smaller sizes and also measurements in centimeters, so if you have an old version, you should go grab the new one. Grab one of your scrap pieces of paper and line up the template with one edge of the paper. Leave about half an inch from the edge of the other side. Trace around the template. Now we're going to cut around the 40 inch guideline on the template. Line up the template with what you traced before and trace around the new edge. What we've just traced is the pattern for the cone part of the hat. Go ahead and cut that out. Now grab the other piece of scrap paper and fold it in half. And then fold it in half again. Now we're going to go back to the circle skirt template and cut around the 26 inch guideline. Now we want to trace around the template on the scrap paper and when you're lining the corners up, make sure you're lining the template up with the corner of the paper where the two folded edges meet. So line that up and then trace around it. And it's time for one last snip around the template. This time we're cutting around the 10 inch guideline. And if you're a smart cookie, you may have guessed that we're going to trace this new line on our folded piece of scrap paper. So line it up and do it. Time to cut. We're going to have a perfect paper donut when we're done cutting. And this tasty little donut is going to be the pattern for the brim of our hat. Unfold and voila, donut surprise. Time to get real. Grab your craft foam or whatever you're making your hat out of and trace the cone and brim pattern pieces on the wrong side of the fabric or material. Don't forget to transfer the extra lines from the cone. And then once you've got the pattern lines transferred, it's time to cut the pieces out. Now I'm going to take two little divots out of the cone piece. And this is along the same edge where we left the gap when we were tracing. It's hot glue time, so start heating up your glue gun. I found that if I trim this edge off at an angle, it made things easier, so go ahead and give it a little trim. The first step for making the cone is to pinch the very top corner together, wrong sides together. Then open it back up and add a thin bead of glue just along one edge. Try not to do a huge gob of glue. I don't actually even glue right up to the corner, just leave a tiny gap. Then pinch the two edges back together, doing your best not to squish a bunch of glue out because it will burn you and also because it will look ugly. Hold the edges together for a minute or so until the glue cools. This is what it should look like when the glue has set. Now we're going to fold this flap under and glue the rest of the cone together. If you want to do a dry run without glue, this is what we're shooting for. So go ahead and apply your glue. And the closer it is to the edge on this flap, the better, because the less likely it will be to spoo out from underneath. And then we'll just fold it around into the cone shape, tucking the flap underneath and making sure everything is lined up how we want it before we press the edges together. Again, hold it in place for a good 30 seconds to a minute to make sure the glue has set. The result is a pretty perfect cone if I do say so myself. Take your cone and making note of where that inside guideline is, clip every half inch or so, just up that line, no further. Clip all the way around the edge of the cone. Take the brim of the hat and slip it over the cone. You want to ease it down until it's just above the level of the clips we just made on the bottom edge of the cone. When we made all those little clips in the cone, we basically made a bunch of little flaps that we can now fold down and glue to the brim, which will keep everything together. So make your way around the hat, gluing those little flaps down one or two at a time, and then make sure you hold them in place long enough for the glue to set. If you're just using the hat as decoration, you're pretty much done. You can add more baubles and doodads, or leave it as is. If you're going to wear it, you'll need some sort of fastener. You could sew or glue it to a headband. I found that two alligator clips worked really well, and it worked best when I glued the alligator clips so that they were hanging over the inside edge about halfway. I decided to add a little bit of satin ribbon, some spiders, and also a half circle of birdcage veil to mine. That's it! Tomorrow I'm posting a tutorial for a skirt that's the perfect witchy companion for this hat, 
so be sure to check back. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more DIY tutorials, and check out whatthecraft.com for more crafty awesomeness.